excuse me, just adjusting the microphone. They were, some people say, <laughs> that there are strange beasts in the land. Some people say they're just myths, stories. <laughs> Vampires, werewolves, swamp monsters. Bogeyman. The character I'm drawing today knows that they're not just stories, they're incredibly real. Uh, 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 who am I drawing? I'm drawing Kolchak. Of course, Kolchak. Carl Kolchak. Investigative journalist in Chicago for the Independent News Service, the INS. who, in the 70s, on his TV show, which some say is fiction, I like to believe was actually based on facts. Um, he constantly stumbled across these stories that involve monsters, real-life vampires, Mexican gods who demanded sacrifice, willing sacrifice, live victims offering themselves to the winged god, possibly it was Quetzalcoatl. And uh, this series, I think it may have only been one series quite a lot of episodes, 24 I think, uh, from the 70s, and uh, it's absolutely brilliant. Kolchak would investigate these, these paranormal activities, supernatural. He realised that something sinister was going on. Usually events began with a murder. Murder? Um, Kolchak would investigate and his boss at the newspaper would always want to stop him Kolchak get in here like that but he was, his boss was like the um, chief in um, Starsky and Hutch Kolchak, because he was a Kolchak was a detective in all but name. Um, it was a great show, played by Darren McGavin. Uh, now I've not seen much of Darren McGavin, but I'd be um, willing to bet that this was probably his finest role. So much character in it, and. Uh, yeah, I absolutely love it. One of my favourite TV shows. And the music is awesome. Because the music for TV shows, American detective cop shows, things like that back then, it's all orchestra. Uh, and it was just, it was so good. With some great writers who kind of specialised in this music that was influenced by jazz but had that great element of uh, classical music with it as well. Um, I know there's a few jazz musicians have done orchestral pieces. Um, is it Gil Evans or Jill Evans? Probably Gil Evans. I think he was uh, well known for, for that style. Was it Into the Blue, something like that? I've got the album, I can have a look, bear with me. Evans, good Evans, can't even see it. Out of the blue, there we go. Um, but yeah, the music in these, these uh, American shows from the 70s really, it's a character in itself. 
really makes it the smallest show can be made epic by fantastic incidental music not enough of it is uh, as far as I know commercially available I'd easily buy the Kolchak soundtrack Kolchak soundtrack sounds like go-kart Mozart <laughs> not the band just the phrase. So here's Kolchak. I'm actually looking at this. It still looks like Kolchak. His chin is too squashed. But I'll get away with that because it, his facial expression is still still very Kolchak. It's a great tune. The whistled, happy whistled theme at the start, and then just goes into something much darker and heavier. Really great. Uh, if you've not seen Kolchak, if you're wondering what the hell I'm going on about, it's on a streaming you can you can see it on amazon prime you have to buy it but it's cheap and it's it's worth every penny you're getting 20 odd episodes each one is about 45 50 minutes and they're great fun some may call it schlock um i'd agree with that but schlock great you know, it's it's telly you can just put on and switch off. It entertains. It's funny. It's not scary, really. There are some creepy sort of concepts in it. Um, but it's not going to frighten you. It was, after all, just made for television. And I don't think it was doesn't feel like a late night show well it does in that the, the subject is sort of traditional late night fur of vampires and werewolves and stuff but it's um very light-hearted It's brilliant anyway, you should um should all watch it. So good. Now I don't know whether to um add some digital colour to this like I did with my Hellboy drawing. could do Kolchak's hat is ridiculous crumpled straw hat that he insists somewhere wearing but it's kind of an element of Columbo in the scruffiness of him um, I'm sure that was calculated I wonder how much of that costume was writing or whether it was Darren McGavin's idea to to dress like that. But it looks great. He wears a shabby suit, this shabby white cream suit with white trainers, which is a, a great touch. Um, I'm wondering if I ever, if next time I go to a Halloween fancy dress, I might go as Kolchak. Trying to get a, some texture onto that brim of the hat. That'll, that'll do. <laughs> yep. Definitely got captured Kolchak there. 
Maybe I should do his uh, boss as well. Still not decided whether to add colour. If I add colour, I'm not sure whether I'll be doing any hatching as well. Maybe I'll do some hatching, but not as much as I would do without colour. Because hatching tends to add depth and shade, but you can do that with colour. So we'll see. Not decided yet. We'll just work on the lines first. There's a strap, camera bag. He, he used to use a little spy camera, little. I think it would have been 16 millimeter film. It was one of the few characters, I think, in television that's known for his camera. And again, it's kind of like a, a, a cop show. They would have the gun. Or like in the film, Dirty Harry's got his magnum, which would blow your head clean off. Kolchak's got his camera because he's got to capture these um, evidence of these monsters and of course if it's a vampire never gets a shot but that in itself is kind of evidence but he's um He's, there are always lots of shots in, of him in the dark room developing a film uh, that reveals evidence of a werewolf or a, some sort of crazy looking swamp monster. <laughs> I love it, I do love it so. Do, 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 do. Like such a good thing, Shane. Such a good show. I suppose you'd say something like The X Files would be a comparison, a modern day equivalent. Modern day, it's like 30 years ago. Um, I think what's different with the X Files and many more modern shows is they tended to try and introduce a narrative throughout the whole series. Um, with Kolchak, the only really running bits of narrative you've got are his constant battles with his boss and uh, occasional annoyances with uh, other colleagues in the newspaper office um, 
but there's no running plot through it. They don't, they just don't bother. I like that that every every episode is self-contained. There's no need for a story arc. I don't want the story arc in my TV shows. Not for me. It's not for me. So do I add some hatching? There are some little bits that I want. Uh, so up here. Up there. You got a bit of his cheeks there just going in. There's a bit there. That's his ear, looks a bit odd. Like that. And then you got a I've decided I'm going to add the colour, which is why I'm being a bit more sparse with the lines. Not digging in deep and creating great areas of dark and light. Just a sort of a, a hint of it. Sound like I know what I'm doing, don't I? <laughs> That does need to be darker there, though. Smudged it. Smudged it there. You probably can't see it. Um, and just some... Some of that little... bits just like that just like that That, ladies and gentlemen, is Carl Kolchak, investigative reporter. I will uh, get this scanned, put the colour in on my iPad and uh, share it with you at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Go and grab your pens. Go and draw Kolchak. And if you can't draw him, just watch him. <laughs>